everybody, I'm back and uh, today I thought we would try a chef painting. It's kind of doing a figure painting, but oh, this one is so much fun. I love to paint chefs. I like to paint waiters and waitresses and people working in the kitchen. It's just a lot of fun. This is a smaller one I did. I started it in a workshop and finished it. So I thought I would paint another one today with uh, you watching me over my shoulder. How does that sound? So. Uh, here we go. I'll be starting in a few minutes. And you can see I have got, I'm using this palette. I probably put that paint on there three days ago. I wasn't here over the weekend and I opened it today and it's still good as new. And instead of a sponge, this time I used those like cloths that you get. I don't know what they're called, but they're kind of like, they're disposable uh, dish cloths or cleaning rags and I just use those and get them really soaking wet and put it in there and use those to keep my um, palette paper wet. So here we go. I'm going to be starting in just a second. I'm going to get started. I'm going to wet my one inch angle Princeton brush. Get it nice and wet and I'm going to really load it up with some hooker's green. And if you remember and watched any of my other videos, I make all my people just really dark shapes to start with. And I'm not so intimidated because I'm starting with the canvas. It's already primed in red, so it's not so scary to paint on. And I'm just going to make, this is going to be like a head right here. And then here's his body. They look kind of like monsters when you start off. And he's got an arm here like this. Maybe I'll put a spoon in his arm or something. And he's going. See, already he's taken a different form because the other painting I've been looking at, you can't see that much of his legs. And then there's another guy here. I picked up a little bit of yellow in my green. I didn't mean to, but it's okay. And he's standing right here. See already he's kind of leaning, which is cool. He's leaning over there's because there's going to be a big pot here. A big boiling pot. Or bowl or whatever. And then a third guy, I keep picking up yellow, a third guy right here. See, it's easy to just visualize. This is his arm, and then here's his forearm, and maybe this is some, some pasta. And then here's his body. I'm going to make this pot going all the way up the bottom because I don't, I don't know what that is. That is huge. It's a huge cauldron. Okay. Now, do you see, I have kind of filled in my whole canvas with designs. This could be pots and pans hanging here. or lights to make it look like it's a kitchen. I don't know what that is, something. Um, now the next part is I'm going to put their clothes on them. Just now, don't rub and rub and try to make it look white. This paint is going to soak into that wet hooker's green. And that's just titanium white. Yep. Thanks, Jane. Yep. Got it. One layer. I'm putting the clothes on them. Paint 
with confidence, even if it's not real. Just do it anyway. It'll show. You'll be amazed. Uh, here we go. And he's got a hat. We just moved the table a little closer. You know we're a work in progress trying to do this, but we are having a blast. We just filmed another plain air painting uh, lesson, and it was outside, and it was great. I felt so <laughs> I felt so good when we were done. And then when we played it back, when we got back to the studio, the birds were so loud <laughs> that we <laughs> we couldn't release it. His hat's just right there. Um, you all would have been very frustrated listening to it, so it was a wash. So we're gonna we're looking into getting better recordings uh, system. Okay, now do you see my chefs? They're like kind of stage one, and then I'm gonna figure out. Maybe I'm gonna put like. A background and in and, and the last one I did I put a shelf back here and I kind of liked it just kind of go like that I love to put um, and let's look, just say there's some things on the shelf back here to make them look like they're in a busy kitchen I like to put really warm colors in a kitchen so I'm using at burnt sienna and raw sienna and sometimes a little bit of cad red dipping it all on there at once and I'm going to plop this behind them And then you can start to maybe carve them out a little bit where you start to see them. They'll let you know what they're doing, what they're, where they're looking. And all this warmth back there. And I'm going to go, a I'm going to take some See. Naples yellow, like this is the shelf. You had a question, Jane? No. Okay. I thought you were going to do a, a mix of more than one color. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. She's waiting. Um, So I'm just filling in little Naples yellow, raw sienna. Do you notice I don't do a lot of rubbing? Um, I just love to put brush strokes down and let them do their thing. You can always go back later, but keep it fresh and spontaneous if you can. And that's just still the siennas? Yes, I'm using all these. In Naples, okay. Um, and so then I'm going to throw some white on my big pot. I gotta pick this up so I can get all the way down, which would be, you know stainless steel or something and uh, it's going to be very reflective where well, you can pick up I'll pick up again some warmth from the kitchen and put it in the pot maybe pick up some Naples yellow and some white and just throw it in the pot we don't know what they're making and then this is how far I get and I all right and and then I'm going to, well, this is how far I get, and then I stop and let it dry, but I'm just going to 
on second thought, I just want to fix up, here, start to model a little bit of the, some faces here. Maybe that's an ear. Just to start to build them a little bit. And the key to this acrylic is letting it dry and then going back over it. We just we tend to just want to just keep painting and painting and then we just smear it. This guy is, I don't know what's going on with him. I'll have to figure, figure that out later. Yeah, he needs some help. He does. <laughs> there's always a point when I'm doing people's faces and things like that that I just, I just laugh out loud because they, they just can be so funny. It can be changed, so it's nothing to take too seriously. Yeah, this person is like way bad, um, but I will fix them. I could always make that a woman. Mm. Mm hmm. Now we could put some. And she could be looking this way. She's starting to show me who she is. <laughs> Do you see her? She's just yes. Kind of, she's getting prettier. I'm gonna let her dry, and I'll play with her later. But she's she's gonna she's gonna work. And then his hand, I can see it. See, I'm doing exactly what I tell everybody not to do. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. I'm going to let this dry and we will be back with you shortly after it dries. I'm going to take it outside and put it in the sun and then I will kind of show you the next step. I probably won't totally finish this painting because that is, and I was thinking about this, and a lot of you really want me you know, to see the very end of the painting or when I'm trying to finish it. I can't really share that because I don't know exactly when I'm going to finish it, at what point, and also that is just something you need to sit down and totally focus on and do those finishing touches exactly where they're needed. But uh, I'm going to get as close to it as I can, but you're going to have to do your own finishing touches as you get to that point. Mostly what I'm doing when I'm showing you how to how I paint these paintings, my main goal is to show you how to start, how to jump in. I think that's the hardest part. How to lay them out and how to how to just get it to a place where you feel comfortable finishing it in your own style and in how much you want to say. So we'll be right back and I'll do the second part of it. I'm back. I let this sit out in the sun for about 10 minutes and it is bone dry. It's great. And uh, so that works. And, and I really encourage you to do that because that'll make your painting so much fresher. And um, be patient. Maybe work on a couple at the same time if you can't take a break. I'm going to go back with my one inch brush. This is really the fun part, okay? Because do you see how the white paint? Zoom in on that, Jane. Mm -hmm. The white paint has soaked in into that hooker's green and you know it's turned almost to gray so now I'm going to hit the light side of the figure with a fresh coat of white with a little bit of Naples yellow just a tiny tiny bit now watch this look how that just pops wow isn't that cool yes That's what painting is about. And <laughs> I'm just hitting the light side of their, um, what do you call it, the uniforms or? Their, their chef coats or chef something? Coats. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm sure they're hard workers because I've been in the restaurant business and it is 
There's a lot to it. Okay, so. I don't, you know, I have to decide what I'm going to put on her. I think I might just put like a, a band on her head. I don't know. I haven't done this before. Some kind of a, maybe I'll just, she's got this kind of a, that doesn't look right. Like a scarf or something? Yeah. Who's to say? I guess, I think it would look better if it was a chef. Yeah. So, don't worry people. <laughs> you can tell this is going to be my problem child in this painting, but... Um, I'm going to win. You know, remember when I put those like bottles there? They're gone. So anyway, light side, let's just move on. I think I'm going to have to get rid of that pot because it's kind of hitting his hat. These are different kinds of chef hats. They all mean something different. And I've been told what they mean, but I couldn't tell you right now. And uh, So, I don't know where his other arm is. Maybe just right down to at his side over there. Oh, she still bothers me. I don't know. Um, and maybe it's not a she anymore. See, everybody, do you think you're the only ones that have these issues? <laughs> it's not you. I'm going to start over. It's a guy, maybe. I think sometimes it's when the head um, gets that really round, look that it just uh, doesn't work it doesn't work <laughs> it doesn't work all right let's go on to something else uh, so what I do is um, after that I kind of take another color like the raw sienna and hit the light side of their skin now she, this person is wet, this human. Um, and you can build up their skin tones to as light as you want or keep it as dark as you want. I'm using raw sienna. And, um, and I'll let that dry a little bit. Oh, maybe indicate there's a nose there. little raw sienna and burnt sienna. Now I'll take a little bit of maybe Naples yellow and cad red. See, Jane doesn't have to ask me the colors because I'm getting better. <laughs> <laughs> um, ooh, that's just red. Do you see how I just kind of hit the light side of of their face. You know, from a distance it looks <laughs> better. What I think this painting is coming to life, this person is oof, bad. <laughs> Let's put a I don't know what it is. Was it the hat, Jane? Is it? I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if, if, it, if the hat's too big or something, or... But you know, technically they're not when you look at them. I mean, yeah. this hat is not it's... too big, but it's, um, it's just the wrong shape. Or maybe this person's head's too big. Hmm. Hmm. I don't 
know. Watch this. Oh, that was a big clump of. I'm going to put one of those kind of hats on. I'm going to. This is called Brave, everybody, and then I'm going to make it a man, and I'm going to put the little mustache on there. And that's it. And then I'm not even going to leave those pots and pans up there because I don't need them anymore. And I'm going to scratch in my background. Not, not making it solid. I'm going to be all kinds of shadows and light things going on, and I like to break it up. And that's just Naples yellow yep. that you're using. Yeah, and a little. Um, well, this guy is bad. The next time you ever see this painting, everybody, it'll be fixed <laughs> because that's that's something I need to sit down and do. Maybe I will leave those pots up there. I, can't, I just can't, I can't leave him. Sometimes you just have to jump right in. I'm gonna go to my smaller brush, maybe that will help. And that's the half inch Princeton? Yes. Dakota? Yes. 6300 series, but I'm going to kind of indicate that there's some eyes there. Watch me do exactly what I tell everybody not to do. Keep playing with it where it's wet. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> and they don't have short sleeves. I like this guy. Mm -hmm. he, if this one, he's, he needs to be developed a little bit more. But you can just see, now it's going to be up to me to um, take this as far as, as I want to take it. And I can't possibly do that um, on this video, but, oh, and one other thing, I, on the shadow side of the coat, I like to use, a little, I dip my brush, and watch this Jane, okay. I dip my brush into Brilliant Purple, a little light blue violet a little bit of light blue and maybe some Naples yellow and then I'm just going to put this on the shadow side of their white coats shadow side So there, that's as far as I'm going to get today um, because it's going to take me, I'm going to have to sit down and think about some issues. But um, anyway, um, I'm going to show you, Jane, can you hand me, I know you've got the camera in your hand. I just brought out the second chef paint, or I mean the first chef painting that um, I showed you at the beginning. And I just kind of wanted to show you how I ended up doing this. I went back many times after it was dried and kept building up my layers of white so that they were just really kind of glowing in the kitchen. I fussed around with their faces too for quite a bit and then I just had to learn to leave them alone, let them dry, and then I could fix them again. I went back and I didn't, I will probably do this in mine. I put this color, kind of these turquoise -y color bottles, these aqua phthalo, because I just love that color mixed with the uh, raw and burnt sienna. 
So it's the phalo green and and some white. white. Yeah, and um, and I added all those colors into their blues and into the pot. So this is kind of how it ended up being finished, and this is how I hope to get this painting finished. And I'll work on that guy. So anyway, thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to go to my website. Uh, janeslifka.com, I mean janeslifkagallery.com and go to the shop page and there you can purchase an hour-long class. And you can find the list of my paints and my palette and my brushes all on my website under the shop page. My daughter-in-law has been kind enough to list everything for people to see if they need to, um, you know, if they want to look further into what kind of paint I use. And a lot of people are always asking me what kind of paint I do use. I prefer Liquitex if I can find it. Um, heavy body, the acrylic. Heavy body, yes. And you can order it from CheapJoes.com or you can get it at your favorite art store. And uh, that's what I like the best. And the Hooker's Green, the dark that I use mostly, is Liquitex number 225, Hooker's Green D. Yes, it's very important. So those are the questions that come up, uh, what, daily, right, Jane? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just kind of want to give you a heads up. So we'll see you on the next video, and thank you. Hopefully we'll go outside again. That was really fun. See you next time, and thank you.